Hi friends and welcome to Crumbs from Gerard. Today's gospel reading is from John chapter 10. Truly, truly, I say to you, he who does not enter the sheepfold by the door, but climbs in by another way, that man is a thief and a robber. But he who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the gatekeeper opens, the sheep hear his voice, and he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. One of the most beautiful images we have of Jesus is of the shepherd, the good shepherd, because somehow it captures all that we know of Jesus. And of course shepherd because in Palestine we know that there were many shepherds, sheep and shepherds, because Palestine, central Palestine, plateau. But this plateau was an agricultural land because it was rough and rocky. And so you had sheep grazing on the grass there. But that too, there wasn't too much grass, so the sheep would be straying here and there. So you needed a good shepherd to be vigilant to see that sheep didn't stray too far off. Now to keep the sheep together and keep off enemies, the shepherd had certain weapons at his disposal. But even before the weapons, first of all, he had a sling bag, which he carried. It was a skin sling bag where he kept his food. Then he had a sling. Now the sling obviously was used, first of all, against the enemy or wolf or even a thief. But also to bring back straying sheep. So the sheep was straying off, he used a sling and threw a stone ahead of the sheep. So hearing or seeing that stone, the sheep would come back. The shepherd also had a rod. And his rod had some kind of spikes at the end, so he could use it to defend himself and attack a wolf or a thief that came. But obviously he had the staff, the shepherd's staff. Now the shepherd's staff had a hook at the end. So if a sheep was going, had fallen off into some kind of crevice or among thorns, he could use the hook to pull the sheep back. But most often he used the staff gently to tap the sheep to keep them going on the right path. So using these things that a shepherd carried, and I ask you to think about these things. If the Lord is your shepherd and you are his sheep, which of these would he need to use on you at this present moment? Rod, to keep off the dangerous enemies around you. A gentle pat with his staff, to nudge you in the right direction. A whack with the staff to strongly get you to the right path, the hook of the staff, to pull you out of some difficult situations, the voice of the shepherd, to guide you along gently, his loving presence, just knowing that he is there is enough.